this morning is so slippery and treacherous. But I'm sure it'll turn to my soon. So I forgot to mention in yesterday's video and that there was actually, um, they found the car of this kid, Derek Luking, in 2012. He just parked his car and walked on trail. They think to maybe kill himself. And the really weird part is that three days later, another kid, the same age, did the same exact thing. And they found his, it was like three miles away. And they ended up finding his body, but they were looking for the first kid. And with the second kid, they just ended up doing a search party for both of them. Wasn't that sad? It's too bad they didn't just find each other and then they could be best friends. It's all just ice. It's a pretty view today. So it's all just ice on a cliff. Beautiful though, but dangerous. Charlie's Bunyan. So this was named by Horace Kepfart. 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 Horace Kepfart. And uh, he was a really interesting dude. But anyways, he was um, surveying land, and his friend Charlie Connor was complaining about his foot. And so he's like, watch, I'm going to put Charlie's bunny on a government map. And that's what he did. Um, but yeah, Horace Keffert was a super interesting dude. He was an alcoholic. He was a librarian. He was married and he had a couple of kids and he hated it. <laughs> and he just longed to be free. And so one day he left his family and he came out here to just live in the mountains. And he ended up making a life for himself making a name for himself, making friends, and just creating a life that he, that he wanted. And uh, he really did pave the way for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. He was uh, an author and apparently a land surveyor as well. Pretty neat. So a guy named All In found my Garmin. I didn't even know I'd lost it, but look, like the screw came out of it. So I'm so thankful that he found it. Thank you. I haven't really filmed much today. I'm just having like a down day. I'm feeling, I'm just struggling. <laughs> So I stayed in the tri-corner knob shelter last night. It was nice. There's a lot of really nice people there. Um, so last night was the first night I stayed in a shelter. There was some mice running around right before I fell asleep. Um, but they didn't bug me. Nothing went in my mouth. Nothing, you know. I was like, I was nervous that I would wake up with a, a mouse in my mouth. <laughs> but that didn't happen. Thank goodness. The only thing... I didn't know how to do was I didn't really know how to change into my pajamas so I just stayed in my hiking clothes because I was like how do people like get undressed like I don't I didn't want to ask I was too shy today I have the option of going um seven and a half which is the wise choice or 14 point like nine or something which is a bad choice well Cosby now first of all people won't stay there because there's a bear there that I guess bit a lady last year but I mean, he could have done a lot worse, so clearly he's not really out for blood. So I'm not too concerned about the bear, but a lot of, since some people are avoiding the shelter, it might be a little bit, I don't know, scary or lonely. Puddin' pop! Hey, hey, hey! Jello! I can't do Bill Cosby. <laughs> Look how fresh this is. There's Airhead over there. Miss Restless, they both found my water filter. Thank you guys. I left it behind. I can't believe I did that. Wow.
This is massive. How cool. Um, I feel bad that I haven't been talking about any of the history and stuff of the trail. I've just been in a weird headspace. I've been really depressed and sad. And today I was walking with this guy. I feel bad. I can't remember his name. Um, but he's getting his triple crown. His wife's going to meet him in the 100 mile wilderness and they're going to climb Mount Katahdin together. Isn't that cute? That was really sweet. And he said that it's totally normal. So apparently a lot of people go through a lot of emotions on the trail. I don't like to ruminate. The term ruminate comes from a cow's rumen because cows chew, swallow their cud, spit it back up, chew it over, swallow it. That's where, yes, yeah, so I don't like to ruminate. This isn't what people tuned in for. I know it's me and not the Smokies, but I'm over them. I wanna leave. I don't, I find them very depressing. And I know again, <laughs> it's not the national park. It's my own self. But I think I'm gonna go for like a 15 miler kind of day. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't feel like myself out here at all. I think I'm done. Get me the heck out of here. And if I just go a little further, then I'll have finished the Smokies. And I did it, look at me go. This, I'm almost positive, would have been made by the Civ Civilian Conservation Corps uh, in the 30s. Roosevelt um, created the CCC for young guys between like 18 and, I don't know, 25 during the Great Depression to make sure they had jobs. So I can't imagine like a farmer building a wall like this, but wow. Thanks, boys. I love it. There's the shelter I would have been staying at, so I'm glad that I'm pushing on. All right, Smokies are done. Bye, Smokies. See you never. Ooh.